Look at that. We are we're actually just gonna walk instead. This real real road, I guess, goes all the way back to our uh, parking spot. But oh, man, look at that. We're not piling that. Crazy. Hello guys, welcome to Puck Kemper. This is Jonathan. And this is actually my brother, Eagle. <laughs> He's never been portage in my life, in his life. And uh, because this is my 30th birthday portage trip, so I kind of have this special request for him to come with me. You know, one of the main reasons is because they have a kid, like my brother and his wife has a kid. Somebody has to take care of a kid, right? So I have to like kind of, it's, it's a very special request. Here at Algonquin Main Lake from Kiosk and all the way down. Took us about two hours to get here, which is not hard at all. Originally, we were supposed to do the kiosk and a maple loop, but because this weekend, the weather is really bad tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all day. That's why we decided to just, you know what? Scratch that, just come to the Mink Lake, relax, come here, eat a lot. He doesn't drink alcohol at all, so just me drinking. He's drinking the Diet Coke or Coke Zero. Tomorrow, we're gonna sit here, look at each other's faces, and Monday, get up, leave here. Here's Princess. Princess. Hi. How are you doing? Taking a break right now. Got our, got our snack. And then we gotta do uh, the rest of our firework, firework, firewood, our tent, all that stuff. All right, let's go. Done making our dinner. There it is. This is the shrimp, fish, tofu, and chicken stir fried rice. This dude right here, he was filming the whole time, eh? He was filming the whole time. And then we just we realized that he filmed nothing. He filmed before and after. At least you guys see the products. We're gonna devour this guy, eh? So good. Good? Very good. Actually good? Yep. Yeah. Good job. Nice. Thanks, man. Mm, 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 mm. And this princess gotta feed her soon too. Raining. It's gonna rain until tomorrow and then until Monday. It's like a duet. The rain just stopped. And check out how calm the water is, eh? Look at that. Oh man, I look amazing. Am I in focus? Probably not. Oh my god, look at that. 
yeah, my brother and I just finished brushing our teeth and washing our faces. Uh, couldn't catch a fish still. Couldn't catch a trout. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. And hopefully, you know, next time I come out, I can ask someone who knows how to fish trouts to show me exactly how to do it. Because I've been doing it for three years, two years. This is my second year trying to get trouts. And I can see them on the water, right? Like I saw them getting, you know, jumping out to catch uh, whatever they're eating. Just couldn't catch it. They just don't want my bait. Sounds like my single life. Anyway, have a good night. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning. Uh, so it's about 9 a.m. We woke up. It's cold. We're trying to start a fire, but it won't start because now the air is a lot colder and wetter. So we actually have to process the wood. All right. So. Just gonna split you guys in half. Gonna split you guys in quarters and gonna use them as uh, like kindling basically. Because right now a lot of kindlings are pretty wet. Now yeah, let's use this one. We can grab a bunch of uh, birch bark too. I'm splitting the wood and everything, and I've just set it up with a bunch of birch bark on the bottom. Just gonna find out where it is, and now I just gotta light it. Oh, oh god! It took us a while to get that started, man. So, making our breakfast now. The green onion pancake from last time, the leftovers. A little bit of oil. We're gonna dip it in our sweet and sour sauce again, sponsored by my friend. Yay! Thank you. Cool, the eagle. Not bad. Not bad. Man, it's cold when we woke up. Yeah. Top. Ready? Alright, I'm gonna turn it on. Ooh, look at that! Eleven twenty a.m. We're just trying to keep our fire alive. It's been dead a couple of times. Princess, trying to stay warm. Yes, we're all trying to stay warm. Fishing. It's rainy today. So, cut myself up with a rope and uh, hopefully, if anything happens, I'll come back alive, yo. <laughs> if my parents are watching this right now, I'd be pretty pissed off. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. For now. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Not even too far. Ugh. Oh my. Feel the wind though. Alright, that's not bad, whatever. I'll stay here. Aww. Now I'm being like. Like wash up the shore. I obviously caught nothing. We're back to the campfire. Oh man, sucks. So it's about 6 p.m. and I have this Taiwanese rice dumpling. Uh, it's pronounced zhou zhou. It needs to be steamed. So this is something that I'm trying 
uh, differently this time. Hopefully it'll work. Let's see, let's see. This is going to be placed right in there. It's not boiling yet, but I'm gonna put it in anyway. It is pretty hot in there, so probably will cook faster. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna close this guy. And hopefully, the steam going out in there. I'm not sure it's gonna go in there. We'll, uh, we'll heat it up over time. Steam it. Oh my god, man. Eagle, look at that. Just put it in there, I guess. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. Oh my god. Gotta make sure inside is hot too. I asked him to uh, cut out a zucchini for me and Ended up with a bunch in the fire. What are you doing, man? We're tiny, trying to eat a zucchini. The tiny pot. So for dinner, we're making bulgogi. This is basically Korean marinated bar uh, beef with a rice cake. They're rolled up. Right in there. I don't think we can finish this, man. Yeah? For me, it tastes a little weird. Because it's sweet, right? Bulgogi is sweet. I prefer like spicy and uh, salty with the rice cake. But he said if you have like this thin one, the thin rice cakes, then it, it works out pretty well. The rain coming down hard now, eh? As we're eating. Ah. He wants to go home and uh, look at his kid. He misses his kid. Look at that. He's crying underneath. Don't cry, man. Don't cry. Stop shooting. You're what? Stop shooting. No. Last night, eh? Uh, Nothing happened. It started to rain pretty bad, so we had to just like got, get into the tent, and uh, I totally forgot to say goodnight. Oops. But hey, good morning. It's 8 a.m. and the weather is okay right now. So we thought, because there are chances of raining again today. So we thought, you know what, let's just pack up now and leave when, you know, after breakfast when the weather is okay. Instead of waiting and waiting and it eventually rains, right? So we're done packing and then we ate our breakfast. Nothing really is happening. It's picking up though, the wind's picking up, so we gotta get out. If nothing happens, this is it. My 30th birthday trip. Happy birthday. Thanks man, thanks for coming out with me. Probably uh, probably never gonna camp with me again. Yeah, we're not gonna walk that. We're not gonna paddle that. <laughs> Luckily we have this uh, old lodge trail. We're gonna walk all the way back. Just around the corner, so we're about three kilometers. Hopefully uh, we can make it. Yeah, we're, there's no way we're paddling that, too crazy. We're hudging right now. Cell phone footage. My brother is back there somewhere. Let's see if I can see him. He's there. And uh, I can finally see the car. I can see the cars from here. Oh, been walking on this. 
for about two kilometers. Ah, oh, my shoulder's breaking. But yeah, the wind conditions crazy. Anyway, I'm happy that we made it. What a special way to end a uh, my 30th birthday Port Hush trip. It's fun. I think uh, it's painful, but it's fun. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Alright, thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.